I, again, I blame everything on the internet. Honestly, everything, I blame 99.9% .9 of the things that are wrong with almost every aspect of life right yeah. now is on, because of the internet. Yeah. People believe in too much garbage and everyone, like I love this one. I'm sure you get this too. Yeah. Um, I want to be pro. What can I do? Uh, can you coach me? And I'm like, well, send me pictures. I'm saying this guy must be pretty good. Yeah. It looks like an <laughs> Ethiopian fucking uh, long distance runner, you know, with with concave calves. And uh, you know, I'm like, what are you thinking? I want to be pro. What, what, what? Who made you even? Who said anything to you? Because oh, I I, I want I seen Kevin Lavroni's picture. When he was dark. <laughs> Kevin Lavroni. <laughs> There's a guy who fucking looked at a fucking D ball and gained six pounds of muscle. Right, right. I said, you gotta understand genetics, man. Right. I always tell people, let's take one step at a time. Let's let's get let's put fifteen pounds of muscle on you first. Then let's pick a show. Then let's I try to get people away from I said it's good to have long term goals, but you have to take short term steps because if you don't, you give up. Because you can't go from that guy you just talked to me to Kevin Lavroni. If you do that, you're going to quit. Because I'll tell you something. When I went to see Kevin Lavroni in 1996, he asked me to come down and help him with his prep for the Arnold Classic. I drove down with a friend of mine, a mutual friend we had. And he had six weeks before he had sent me pictures. And he, and he looked like he didn't even work out. Uh, this kid brought back <laughs> pictures and showed me. Because there was no internet then. He, he actually Polaroids. I said, he's never going to make it. We go down there six weeks later, drive down, get into his house... I said, let me see what it looked like. I'm 300 pounds, mind you. Big, freaky, you know. I just won the Junior Nationals. Takes off his shirt. I'm like, that's it. I might as well just quit. I really, I wanted to quit bodybuilding when I looked at what he looked like. Six yeah. weeks later, he was delts and his shoulders and his pecs and his abs and his quads. I'm like, what right, what fucking right do I, am I insane to even think that I can stand next to this human being? And I weighed more than him. It didn't even matter. It, 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 and, and take it to the next level with Kevin. Yeah. He would show up to the to the competitors meeting at a pro show and he'd look a little small. Yeah. And then the next day his triceps yeah. were hanging down. I You're mean, like, Kevin, what the fuck did you do overnight? I mean, I, it's like... There are guys, these guys that, I mean, if you think you're going to be Mr. Olympia, look at a Mr. Olympia in person next to you before you say, you look at his pictures and say, yeah, I, I think I could beat that. <laughs> his receptors yeah, it, were unbelievable. It, it, again, his receptors it, uh, were unbelievable. That's yeah. what, I mean, plus he was probably a, a, a really good, a most of these guys are probably could have been great athletes too. Ge the, lot, genetic, the genetics. The genetics. Bodybuilding is so much genetics. Now, the good thing about bodybuilding is that there's also a, a hard work, dedication, persistence component that a lot of people don't have. So you have guys with genetics like Kevin Lavroni, but don't apply themselves because they don't have that work ethic. Thank God for those people because those are the guys I was beating that I'm like, I should never be beating this guy. But I right. beat them because I outworked them. But there's certain people like Ronnie Coleman, Kevin, guys that worked hard and had the genetics impossible to beat. Can't beat those guys.